Hey folks, this is the core, your entertainment techie. Hope things are going well. I have a new emulation update and it's something I think you definitely should be aware of. A new Sega Saturn emulator, Ymir, released at the beginning of last month, and within that time it has greatly improved. What's even more surprising is the amount of operating systems that Ymir is compatible with. Linux, Windows, Mac OS are all supported. For Mac OS in particular, Ymir also supports Apple Silicon systems. I personally tried out the emulator on my Windows 10 operating system and so far, all the games I've tested have been running pretty well. I especially wanted to use Intel Arc 380 to see how well it holds up as I've had problems with using other Sega Saturn emulators with this GPU specifically. Ymir definitely seems to try and mimic the behavior of Sega Saturn as close as it possibly can. After you go through the initial steps of setting up your BIOS the next time you start up the emulator, it will instantly boot into the original Sega Saturn BIOS. From there, you load your disk and start the game for the BIOS, and that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, I did want to just quickly talk about a few games that I tried out. Panzer Dragoon, which tends to crash or have screen flickering issues when using other emulators, are not showing any signs of these issues with your mirror, so at that point, I was very excited about what this emulator is bringing to the table. Another favorite of mine is Guardian Heroes. This game was not playable for me in the last version of Ymir, but it's very much playable with the latest version. With that being said, there is still an audio issue, so it isn't perfect, but I'm still very pleased that this at least is running. Burning Rangers, while playable, is still played with the same audio problems as Guardian Heroes. There are still a lot of games that are not booting for me as of this writing, but I'm still impressed with the progress Ymir has made thus far. Now in terms of future plans, the developer has noted that their main goal at the moment is making sure games are in a playable state. Once that has been accomplished, they've confirmed that a resolution upscaling feature will be the next goal. I am definitely looking forward to seeing this emulator progress as it may potentially end up becoming my personal favorite emulator to use for the Sega Saturn. I'll be leaving a link to the emulator in the comment section below if you want to try it out. If you enjoyed this latest emulation update, please be sure to leave a like. Also consider subscribing to the channel as I will continue to provide updates on Ymir and other emulators in the future. For now, this is Decor, your resident entertainment techie, signing out.